It sounds like something from a science fiction film, but experts have created a neural dust that can be implanted into the body. The tiny Wallace sensors will be placed in the body to track neural activity in real time, to monitor people's health from the inside. The technology has been demonstrated successfully in rats and could be tested in people within two years, the researchers have now said. The devices offer a potential new way to monitor or treat a range of conditions including epilepsy and control next-generation prosthetics. You can almost think of it as sort of an internal, deep tissue Fitbit, where you would be collecting a lot of data that today we think of as hard to access, said Michelle Marbez an associate professor of electrical engineering and computer science at the University of California, Berkeley. Fitbit sells wearable fitness devices that measure data including heart rate, quality of sleep, number of steps walked and stairs climbed, and more. Current medical technologies employ a range of wired electrodes attached to different parts of the body to monitor and treat conditions ranging from heart arrhythmia to epilepsy. The idea here according to Professor Marbez, is to make those technologies wireless. The new sensors have no need for wires or batteries. They use ultrasound waves both for power and to retrieve data from the nervous system. The sensors, which the scientists called moats, are about the size of a grain of sand. The scientists use them to monitor in real time the rat peripheral nervous system, the part of the body's nervous system that lies outside the brain and spinal cord, according to findings published last month in the journal Neuron. The original goal of the Neural Dust project was to imagine the next generation of brain-machine interfaces, and to make it a viable clinical technology, said neuroscience graduate student Ryan Neely at the time. The sensors are made up of components called piezoelectric crystals that convert ultrasound waves into electricity that powers tiny transistors in contact with nerve cells in the body. The transistors record neural activity and, using the same ultrasound wave signal, send the data outside the body to a receiver. The researchers said such wireless sensors potentially could give human amputees or quadriplegics a more efficient means of controlling future prosthetic devices. It's a meaningful advancement in recording data from inside the body, said Dr. Eric Luthard, a professor of neurosurgery at Washington University in St. Louis. Demonstrations of capability are one thing, but making something for clinical use, to be used as a medical device, it's still going to have to be worked out. Before implanting wireless sensors into the brain, the science of understanding how the brain processes and shares information needs to advance further, Professor Luthard said. To deliver moats, currently one millimeter in size, into the brain, the researchers would need to miniaturize the sensors further to about 50 microns, about the width of a human hair. It's not impossible, Professor Marbus said. The math is there.